Uh, my name is Fahim Zaman. I'm from Chino, California in the U.S. And uh, this lesson is for week one of the class, Introduction to Music Production at Coursera.org. Uh, I'll be showing you guys how to get started on uh, recording an electric guitar track into a digital audio workstation. And so here we go. Let's get started. Okay, we are at my band's rehearsal studio. I'll give you a quick little tour. And there's us right there. <laughs> okay, for the lesson, we're going to be using an electric guitar, a quarter inch cable, which is the TS cable. That's going to send a mono signal directly into our audio interface. And today we're using the Focusrite 2i2 two channel audio interface. Uh, it's connected through USB, which is really handy because it goes directly into the computer and pretty much routes everything for you. But uh, it's really easy to use here. Let's get this in focus. I'll show you the inputs. That's your XLR or instrument cable, which is in the center right there. Uh, your gain knob, your line, and instrument. If I could get this to focus. There you go. That switch will is a uh, line level and instrument level and um, we have your fountain, fountain power right there if you're using a condenser mic or any mic that needs to be powered uh, your main audio level and your headphone gain controls right there headphone input right there below it um, I've been using this for a couple months and it's been really handy um, that will the output right there let's see I have it has quarters for the monitors and I just have one going into our mixing board so and the USB which will do all the input um, work that goes into the computer so that goes into the computer and what we're using for our DAW right here is Cubase <laughs> and basically you set up a new pr uh, project this will pull up um, you do have to set your buses, which I'm sure we'll learn about uh, next week uh, when we go over DAWs. But your bus basically routes, buses basically route uh, your audio signal through the digital audio inter interface. So right here we're going to select two mono inputs because we have a two-channel mixer. Pink. And here we go. Okay, that's okay. Check the outputs which is fine and we just enable this track for recording which is that red button right there um, we're gonna go in terms of signal flow let's see the guitar is a sound source and these pickups right here are the input transducers and that's going to change let's see sound vibrations of the strings vibrations of the strings into a voltage that's going to carry um, the sound signal level actually through this cord into the audio interface and everything is down so what we're going to go ahead and do is start uh, gain staging uh, this is going to control the input level and try to get it up to a line level which we can work across all devices and the cool thing about this little audio interface is that it this clear ring actually lights up. See? Um, if you go too high, it'll light up green for good. And if you go too high, let's turn it up all the way, it'll flash red. And that means your signal level is too high. So that's kind of nice to have instead of worrying about hearing it, it does it for you actually. And that's pretty high but it's still green so that means it's all okay so we can go ahead and turn up the volume on this and the audio interface we have our monitor cable going into our monitor speaker and that's gonna serve that's actually our main speaker that goes through this we run our mics through but uh, for this presentation we're just going to use it as a monitor so let's go back to our 
digital workstation right here. This is Cubase, I believe, 5. And I have a new project set up. And first thing you want to do is make sure your buses, your input bus and your output bus is set up okay. And basically your buses are how the digital audio workstation routes the signal of your audio that you're um, trying to record. So we're sending the signal from the audio into the computer, which is our input bus. And let's see, it looks all okay. Output bus is okay. Output bus is gonna be from the computer into whichever speaker source that you wanted to hear playback from. But in this case, we're not really using it. We're just using our direct monitor out. So, let's see. We're gonna enable the track. Make sure your input is routed. Nano one, which corresponds to this channel one. And your stereo out, which is fine. And this is monitoring for direct. And there you go. You have your signal level right there, and it looks pretty good. So now you're able to, you're ready to record a track. So you can go ahead and hit record. And you'll notice the readout. And there you go. That's how you start recording your track. Boom. Hope you guys enjoyed. wasn't too bad right um, I hope I was able to explain that pretty well as far as how to get your signal from uh, the guitar into your workstation that you're using um, once again once we get, uh, go over how to use a DAW uh, in the class um, and touch base on that next week uh, it'll be a little more clear as far as like what I was saying about the bus and like enabling a track etc but um, in terms of signal level and signal flow, uh, I hope it did an okay job <laughs> in showing you how to route this out. Um, this class actually is really pretty cool. So far, um, I've been learning a lot. Um, I've used software for audio recording um, since, geez, like 2001, 2002. And it's been cool to see like how all the software is um, kind of evolved and gotten better over time. Um, one thing that this class is teaching me is how to use it properly, which I think is really important and beneficial because um, there's like a ton of things that you can do wrong when you're learning on your own. And uh, uh, let's see, Try, doing it properly is obviously the best way to do it because then you learn about the like, little things like the, the gains being too high or why is my audio level distorted when you think you did everything okay and it looks okay but it's not <laughs> you know so it's good um, I'm learning a lot and uh, like I said I'm in a band I've been in a hard rock band um, since 2001 and all this information that I'm learning in this class uh, not only am I being able to put like um, the things that I already know with um, together with the things that I'm learning and it's kind of like aha moments it's like no way of course now it makes sense but I'm able to pass that information along to my bandmates which is super cool and uh, we're working on a third album right now and we're doing it a little differently we're not just going straight into the studio and um, spending all this time and money on recording each parts and each track and all that stuff we're actually, uh, we did go to a drum studio for the drums because that's a little hard as far as like the room and um, how many mics and stuff, you want to get that right. So we did that, but uh, as far as guitars and bass, um, we're tracking them our own in our practice studio right here. Uh, and it's pretty cool because uh, we could sit there and do take after take without really having to wor um, worry about how long we're spending. And um, that's really beneficial for us. So it's been a good experience so far. Um, I, I'm looking forward to next week and 
Um, I'm learning a lot already. Hope to learn a lot more. All right, see you guys next week. Thanks.